Lesson 4.2.1, Creating and Interpreting Frequency Distribution, continues. In this video, we will construct bar graphs to represent data given frequency marginal distribution tables. On which side does a tiger have the most stripes? The outside. All right, this time we're going to make a bar graph um, for the favorite colors, the favorite sport, the favorite whatever it is that's the favorite. Okay, so again, we're gonna click uh, on B13 and we're gonna click on the box that says insert chart. It's the box with the three lines in it. And again, it gives us this, um, frequency or this stacked column chart we want to turn it back into a bar chart notice when I turned it back into a bar chart it already is labeled almost in the way we're looking for it right we've got blue green purple red so now it's by the, our favorite colors and here's our legend it's a and b um, the only thing we need to do is customize the rest of the information so we're going to click on customize we're going to click again on charts and axis and titles it gives us vertical axis so title so we're going to change this to number of student responses and then we'll click on vertical axis and go to the horizontal title the horizontal titles was down at the bottom, and that's our favorite color. And then we're going to go to chart title. And this is bar graph by favorite title or favorite color. Then we'll go ahead and resize it. So that it fits in our little box here. And then, again, if you don't like the colors, you can change the color scheme altogether. Uh, let's go with light blue and let's go with pink. So that doesn't look like the other one. The importance of each graph. The first graph, we can look at it and make decisions based off of what class likes each thing. On the second one, we can determine which color is liked by the classes in, in general. So I, what I'd like you to do is go to favorite sports to watch the tab at the bottom and would like you to make the bar graph by sport favorite sport for this one. Go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to click in B13 again. I'm going to click on that box with the three lines in it. Again, it pulls up that stack bar chart, so I'm going to tell it none. Now I got my three categories at the bottom, so I just need to customize the chart title. And this is bar chart, or bar graph by favorite sport. Go to horizontal asset axis and label this favorite sport to watch on TV and then go to the vertical asset axis and label it number of student responses and then we can just slide it in 
and readjust the size of it. If you have difficulties with this part, just let me know. You can come ask me while you're taking your notes. And that's how we make bar graphs by class and by sport, favorite sport. The latter four tabs are for you to do for homework. You're going to fill in just this top information. You'll find that there are other things down here. We're not doing those today. You're just going to do the two-way frequency table, the marginal frequency distribution, and do the two graphs for both fruit, favorite fruit, favorite sports by um, boys play, favorite sports girls play, and favorite subjects and you'll do that for each of those and that's your homework tonight or classwork today if we finished early with that your notes are finished